Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create double box and wrench model or how to reuse spinal bend feature. So I will start from scratch. So we can start for for example create base extrude feature. And if I select extrude feature and I rotate my sketch, in the sketch we can prepare base shape. For example, I will define the base dimensions. So for example, outside shape and over here, I will define really quickly some base dimensions. Yeah. So we will create some shape. You can specify the another dimension and another value. So for example, number 40 and by delete segment, I can delete all edges what I don't want to use. Then you can create your custom dimensions and for example, this one and specify some another value, for example, 15. Yes, so you can see here that on the left side will be some dimension, on the right side will be something. The model of the double box and range I think that will be uh, maybe a little bit longer, so maybe this one. So it's up to you what you will choose of the base shape. It can be something really easy like here and you can specify thickness, for example, on the top or you can reuse right mouse button and specify symmetric. And I think that looks good. Yeah, okay. So base shape I have. And maybe we need to add some another extra feature because you know that over here we need to put some base geometry again and I can reuse the six side hexagon and you can drag and drop, you can move it here, you can change the visualization of the no hidden line and you can specify the value. or you can spin it. Yeah, it's up to you. If you confirm, you can specify your custom dimension on the left side. Yeah, for example, this one. And dimension what you want to you don't want to use, you can delete. And then I will specify that it will be 22 on the left side, yeah. And over here on the right side, I will select reference. And again, I will place six side hexagon. The best practice is move it anyway, and then move and place where you want. Then you can spin it how you want and confirm. And you can again specify base dimension here. And if it's necessary, you can delete dimension or you can create reference dimensions. And system will create information dimension for you so you can see the another value. So it was standard modification and creation of the shape feature like the extrude and you know that you can add some geometry or you can remove. If you use the Creo 4.0 system automatically recognize that if you would like to add material or remove material, specify depth for example, through all and confirm OK. Right now it's up to you if you would like to add some another feature, for example, round feature and specify the shape. I like to focus on the feature spinal band. The spinal band is the feature where you can reuse existing sketch and you can band object based on this curve. So if I would like to create a curve or use the curve, I will create my sketch here on the middle plane and you can see if I spin to 2D that right now I can create my custom curve and what is nice on the Creo 4.0 that you can reuse the function clip model and you can see directly information what is the possible to see from the sketch. Yes, yeah, so right now you can see better shape you can use a 2D orientation or 3D is up to you. 
what we would like to create is the lines, couple of lines. So for example, this shape will be specified like here. Okay, I will reuse the this type of shape. You will see that what is necessary to do here or to create here is the fillet. Specify value, yeah, so you can set up your custom value and the system will reuse this curve and apply 3D geometry. How it works, I will show you. So I can come from OK and you can see here that right now it's possible to select feature spinal band. System asks you for the geometry, so I'd like to reuse this geometry and in reference you can spine by curve. So this one I like to spine and the system asks me where will be starting point. So I like to use the starting point on the opposite direction. So select the arrow and right now it looks so nice and good. You can see here that everything is definite on the length of the curve and the shape of the curve. So if I would like to modify it a little bit, so you can jump to the sketch, use the function and the definition, and in the sketch you can specify the another shape. So for example, I will use this shape and modify it a little bit. Yeah, some fillet. Yeah, it's up to you. You can specify your custom value. It's only a quick example with a modification of another dimensions. So you can see here that system create really nice shape for us. Don't forget to hide the sketch. And if you would like to remember this information in the layer tree and right mouse button is the possible to save status for the layer. So if you open your 3D model again, the line will be hidden. So I hope so that you like this example how to create and use the spinal band or how it is possible to create double box and wrench 3D model. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.